This happened the other day. Uh, this guy is Black Scout Survival. I just grabbed him because he's talking about the incident and some of this. So looking at Memorial Day coming in, hopefully uh, you get to celebrate with your family and enjoy what uh, Americans I give no. a junkie who OD'd four years ago. Yeah. Incredible. Right? Mm. Did you also know that Joe Biden is now seeking a meme expert? No. Fort Bragg. Here we go. We need to call it. Special Ops soldier being investigated in a Moore County fatal shooting. So there was this mysterious shooting that happened in, in uh, Fort Bragg. Now they call it Fort Liberty since uh, 2020. Not, not far from where, obviously, the most elite special operations forces in the unit, United States Army live and train. This is where the Delta guy. He's under investigation by Army CID as well as local police. This shooting took place in Carthage, North Carolina on May 3rd at 8.15 p.m. So we have not heard about this. This has been since May 3rd, but you're just now hearing about it. Nobody is reporting on this or keeping it completely quiet. And you may ask why. Well, it's probably because uh, the information won't go through, right? Two Chechen men who spoke broken English were found near the uh, soldier's home. The family alleges the suspected intruder, a 35-year-old Ramzam Darav from Chicago. Why was it Chicago? Because that, that was a sanctuary city. Mm -hmm. Was taking photos of their children near a power line in a wooded part of the property. Now, on the children thing, we had this happen when I was overseas. Uh, we would occasionally catch people taking pictures of the kids as some of us had families and stuff over there. So I know exactly what this guy is talking about. I've actually been through this, but this is happening on U.S. soil at Fort An altercation yeah. ensued between Darov and the special operations soldier. He was shot several times at close range. There was a second Chechen man that was found in a vehicle some distance away from where the incident occurred. Now, the sheriff... Ronnie Fields said in a statement, the caller indicated that an individual was observed taking photographs on the property and had become aggressive towards a resident outside their home. The deceased, so the Chechen man, was found about 250 yards from the roadway along a power line on the resident's property. Identification was not on the guy. So he didn't have any ID. He was sanitized. Mm. Right Now, just tell me what this is starting to sound like to you. He was later confirmed from family members. Now, oh yeah, the, the Chechen man, his family has set up a, a GoFundMe, right? Saying that he was uh, wrongfully assassinated. Because of course but, they were. Okay, this guy's got a speaking style that is not conducive to our particular no, I agree. environment at all. <laughs> no, but you know, he, he, he is, is very point. accurate. Yeah, he's very accurate. Look, our bases are being penetrated and infiltrated and in all other ways traded. The Chinese have purchased farmland next to some of our Air Force bases. Hmm. Uh, one of the other channels that I follow on Telegram, you're there too, Colonel Murray's channel. Yes. A couple of guys put up things where examples of how you could easily, with a bunch of cheap drones and some thermite grenades, fly those in formation over an Air Force uh, runway and basically reduce our air power by three quarters in minutes. Yeah, you don't even need, you just need a heavy uh, anti anti material rifle. No, yeah, I understand. They, they were just demonstrating one of the, yeah. one of the methods that this could be done by the point being here, this guy, this special forces soldier who shot a guy outside of his home, these guys, I mean, one of them sitting across from me right now, you don't just draw your weapon and smoke somebody unless you really think there's a reason that you need to be doing that. Yeah. Especially in an environment like, oh, your backyard. Well, first of all, you know, they're taking pictures of the kids. Yeah. That that could be a snatch and grab kind of shit. Huge flag. Yeah. And, and he's sterilized. Yes. So he's that there. The big one for me. He is there with, the, listen. I've been on many ops where like, all right, pop, take your dog tags off. They, they, 
You have your ID card. You know, it is what it is. Did you write your death letter? Let's yep. all right, go get on the birds. Let's fucking no. Hey, hey, wedding ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's real. That's you see that in movies sometimes. That, it does, that's real. It does happen. It, yeah. I've only done that twice, and uh, I can't really go into a lot of the details, but it was serious, serious stuff. I've got one. Yeah. I, I have I have one of those where we gave up our shit too, which was rare for the signals guys. Oh, yeah. It, we it, usually weren't anywhere near anywhere we were gonna be bothered in that manner. Yeah, and one of the main reasons I don't have any tattoos is because you weren't allowed to have any identifying marks that were put there intentionally. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't care about that as much with us. But we, were, ah, we weren't as prone to capture as you guys. Yeah. By a long shot. Uh, what this guy is saying, what this incident at Fort Bragg represents is a complete sea change. The United States of America on the inside, our bases especially, are no longer safe. We're not safe anymore. Those mm-hmm. five fences, I think three of them are gone. I think you're correct. Or they're purposely opened. Yeah. Yeah. The wire's been cut. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, the only ones I think there's only, okay. First of all, let's, let's put this out in case we get knocked off the we air. We got a big thunderstorm. We got a thunderstorm rolling through. All right. So if, if the tr- if stream stops, that's why I apologize at a time. I have no control over what the man upstairs decides to do. So it is what it is. Yeah. But yeah, you are correct though. Um, this is just this is just shitty all over. I, I'm just trying to figure this out. I, I, I'm trying to war game what could possibly the only levels of uh, the fences that I think are uncompromised right now are the sheriff departments. Most most of because those guys are elected. Mm-hmm. There's probably some out there that are worthless fucks. Got Oakland it. County's bad. Yeah. Oakland County's bad. And then some state police. Yeah. I wouldn't say Michigan State Police because, you know. I would say sectors of Michigan State Police. You get out of the cities. You get up around Cadillac Mm -hmm. or Sheboygan. Those areas further north are probably going to be okay for the most part. Mm. But you can't trust them 100%. No. So all of that safety we've lived with for all of these years since World War II is gone. Up in smoke. It's gone because we... And I say we collectively, because me too, sat on our butts while this was being rammed down our throats. Well, we've got the rainbow military. Yeah, those are helpful. Yeah, and then we have the Fed police. Yeah, yeah. Are the equivalent of Banana Republic. A.K.A. the dog shooters. Mm -hmm. I saw that one. Okay, so th- those two are gone. Those are two of the fences right there. Mm-hmm. And then I-, I would go as far to say blue cities. That's all three fences all in one shot. But the, those are the blue cities. The blue cities are don't cover. Oh, there's there's red cities too. But the blue cities, I think, are the same as, you know, the Rainbow Army. Yep. Yep. Just be sure to uh, don't do a burnout or a donut on a... Uh illegally painted rainbow flag in the street or else you'll be uh it's florida yeah yeah be put on a manhunt list you know what Uh, we need to have the florida governor get on board and just say you know what go fuck yourself so he did a burnout a big deal he was purchased and again that's a whole different yeah we'll we'll get to that one later show so uh, your fences are gone your security is gone look for these guys to walk in and feel comfortable taking photos sanitized of the children of what they probably knew was a special forces colonel. There's a very, cause we used to do surveys on these guys. Mm-hmm. We had a, we had a full bird killed in the Philippines a couple decades back. General Dozer in Italy was assassinated yeah. by a guy on a freaking Vespa scooter. Mm-hmm. Um, these things happen, but now they're going to start happening in the United States of America. We had dossiers. I had a database built of all of the korean uh vips all of their as many of their guys as we could get and their families and the whole nine yards it's common knowledge that this is done i'm telling you that i did some of that 
I guarantee you those databases are being built on American personnel in exactly the same way. Yeah, I think you're correct. But uh, it's if a part of me wants to tear this whole thing down right now and turn this into a situation room and put your whiteboards up and start <laughs> start planning. Yeah, I'm I'm having real battle map frenzy right now. Yeah, um, and it's causing me to become a little short speeched. The, our security. Right, being you got to do the pop system. mantra. Okay. Fuck yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get okay, on, let's get done. on with it. Our, our security is badly compromised. Now, a lot of this is the Chinese that are coming across the border. There are several interviews by Michael Yan about what's happening at the border. Those are worth your time. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.